This is the landing page where any user, even before signing in, can engage with the system and realize the value in minutes. We provide sample data that will be loaded with a click of a button to ensure there's no friction in getting started. I'm really keen to show how Project Sophia can help me optimize the sales performance for my sales organization. So I'll upload my own local file uh, covering sales and pipeline data across my sellers. Now Sophia is automatically generating what we call a blueprint. Um, it will take a bit which you'll see is quite reasonable as uh, the system is literally performing work that would have taken me hours to accomplish without the power of Project Sophia. Under the covers, we put AI to work, doing deep analysis of the data set and then preparing insights for presentation and next actions. This is the blueprint, the purple frame you see here. This is designed to help provide some structure to the AI powered research that is easier to navigate. The blueprint contain three columns of information. To the left, you see a textual overview, visual representations of insights in the middle, and a list of suggested next actions to the right. Every blueprint and all information blocks within it are generated using large language models. And each of the blocks are optimized to deliver high value insights to the business that would have taken substantial effort to gain without the use of Sophia. To illustrate, if you look at something as simple as a text overview to the left, you will see that it is not only describing the data that you can find in the file, it also provides insights into the data that you wouldn't have able to be discovered by simply opening the file and looking at the data. Calculating the top accounts within each industry is an example of that. So aggregating data across industries, sellers, geographies are some of the ways that Sophia helps call out highlights in the data set. Looking at the visualizations in the middle, we always strive to provide two or three different visualizations. The goal being to uncover insights from multiple angles, ensuring that you not only can visualize the complex, but also to identify broader patterns of data to unveil research path you may otherwise not have even thought of. Here, for example, we illustrate the relationship between annual revenue and the pipeline for each sales rep, which really speaks not only uh, to a seller's current performance, but also his or her ability to ma maintain performance over time. Here, Lena Powell stand out uh, quite significantly as a high-performing seller, both from a revenue and a pipeline perspective. Her performance is further amplified here in the second visualization, where the highest-performing individual account also is owned by Lena. So seller performance clearly making for an interesting area for us to dive further into to assess whether Lina represents working patterns that we can replicate and scale across the business to optimize the performance across more sellers. This first blueprint is where the journey starts and once I've explored the blueprint and formed opinions, I can take action. For that, I can use the actions provided by Sophia. We have different type of actions, collaborative actions here represented by the ability to have Sophia author an email that I can use to easily share some of the content with a colleague. Alternatively, I can use explorative actions as a simple way to dive deeper into the data, building out multi-fork research journeys. The explorative actions can provide suggestions to pull in external data like industry trends or competitive data when relevant for the particular context. This is one of the areas where the fusion of large language models and Sophia's domain knowledge come into play and can save me an incredible amount of time suggesting exploration path that otherwise might have taken multiple iterations to identify and execute on. Each of these options will generate a new blueprint establishing the next step on my research journey. So naturally, I can continue exploring my data and expand my journey through suggested actions, but that's almost too easy. And I'd like to give you the opportunity to see a really powerful concept in action that we call the AI cursor. The AI cursor is a fully contextual chat experience that allows you to click 
anywhere on the canvas to trigger a conversation. This is a great way for me to dive deeper into Lena sales performance. So I can simply take my AI cursor, click on the specific area I'd like to explore and further trigger a conversation. And I can simply ask Sophia, what are some of the reasons why Lena is outperforming? I can either have the option to simply update the existing blog I have selected, or I can generate a full new blueprint, which is what I will do to help you get a better feel for the journey I can create using Sophia. And you can see the power of the full canvas. So another blueprint is being generated. Now things become really interesting as we dive deeper into the data. We call out which account Lena has had success selling into, indicating where her strengths are. You can see she's focused on building strong customer relationships, but even more importantly, you can see that she has invested in building out strategic next steps and action plans for each one of her accounts. Sophia even calls out that Lena used some of the customer challenges to build tailored solutions. So looking at the visualizations, they support the same findings yet from another angle here allowing us to break out her revenue achievements across industries, allowing us to continue to discover broader trends within her performance. So what is emerging here is a larger profile revealing what makes Lena a strong seller and why she's outperforming her peers, which ideally we can consider replicating across the entire sales force to scale her efforts and boost the overall performance for the entire organization. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see the entire journey that I've taken. So when I'm ready to share with a colleague, I can simply invite them into the workspace. And instead of me having to explain every step I took, every blueprint I built for them, I can simply invite them in and they can follow the journey in a self-service manner. The ability of creating multiple forks in the journey, as well as proactively sharing a workspace, are some of the capabilities we aim to include in the very near future.